Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt. Today we're going over some of my recent pickups. Let's get into the video. So some of you guys may know, I've been in the midst of rotating my wardrobe, kind of getting a lot of this old stuff out, bringing in some new stuff. I've been putting up everything on Grailed, so go check mine out. I'll have it in the link in the description below. But honestly, I've just been trying to get away from having too much stuff and kind of bringing it down into better quality, a little bit more expensive items, and still kind of like, still featuring like what I love, the brands I love, kind of like everything in between, and even like venturing off into like different new designers I haven't tried before. The first two you guys have already seen, the first one that I picked up a little while back was the Nike Fear of God Air Raids. These have been some of my favorite shoes. These are definitely going to get tons of use during the summer. I love them to death. They are pretty comfortable for a Nike shoe, and honestly like there's only two shoes on this list and they're both Nikes, and if you can tell kind of from my spot right here. I've not really bought into Nike, but my two shoes from Nike so far have been two designer collaborations. And this one for me is probably my shoe of the year so far. Now personally for me, I think that these are a lot more wearable than the Air Ones. The shape of them is really nice, I just don't think they're wearable with everyday attire. Whereas I think these or the black pair are really good at being everyday type shoes because of the air unit, because of the bone midsole on them, because of just the general shape and kind of like athletic nature of them. I feel like they're such a wearable shoe, which just for me makes them a little bit higher than the air ones. And the other shoe that I have is the John Elliott Vandal Highs. I just made a video on this. If you want to hear more about these, go check out my review of that. These are honestly just like a typical like Nike comfort shoe, like nothing crazy, no crazy technology, but the actual materials in them really make up for it, the actual shape, the toe box, kind of like everything about this shoe for me really sets it apart from any other Nike shoe that I have, even though it's a black and white shoe, it's not too much crazy about it for me, I just really love them. And these are only two shoes I picked up the past month. Haven't really been feeling a lot of the new shoes coming out from anybody. So for me, it saves me money. For you guys, you might find something on sale that you guys might like. Even though at first I didn't really like them, I've always been tempted by the moccasins. But for me right now, I just don't think it's a very smart purchase. And I'm hoping that the next shoe I pick up is actually going to be for the wedding, which I might share with you guys on this channel. But until then, these are my two shoe pickups. Now let's get into clothing. Now after selling like a bunch of stuff, I actually found this pair of John Elliott Maguro, I believe it's called, denim. This is honestly one of my favorite denims. I featured it on my denim video. Honestly, like, this is probably the best pair of denim that I currently own. This is from John Elliott. There is John Elliott branding in the middle. Honestly, like this pair has just worn in so well so far. I've only had this for like a month, but the wash on this is already turning out really well. You can't really tell too much on videos, but when I first got it, it was a little bit dark gray, now it's turning a little bit lighter. It's really wearing into how I wear them even after a month, which for me, I love. But overall, like I say, the John Elliott denim, if you guys haven't tried it, I definitely would. It's probably the best for the price. And I say that meaning out of all the expensive denim that this is probably the most worth it. With all the sales happening right now, I'd definitely go try to find a pair. If you can find it for below 150, that's a definite cop. Now this pair retails for $400, so definitely pricey, but you can definitely find them for a lot cheaper. I got mine for a lot cheaper. But yeah, this is John Elliott Merguro. I've had these featured in some videos already. I just haven't really made a video about it because I didn't really feel like I needed to. The way that it fits is a little bit different than other John Elliott denim because the bottom, it has a little bit more of like a distressed nature to it. I personally love the distressed nature at the bottom, but some other people might not. But like, that's all personal preference. It's up to you at the end of the day. The next pickups are actually from Daniel Patrick, which you can't really see right here. There, there we go. There we go. Now I actually went to the Daniel Patrick sample sale, picked up a lot of the stuff. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces right now, which is this is Daniel Patrick pocket tee. Nothing too crazy, honestly. For me, the sample sale had a lot of good stuff. If you pay full price for Daniel Patrick, which you really shouldn't, it's a really good place to find a lot of different stuff. He had a lot of his shoes there for like a hundred dollars, which for Daniel Patrick shoes is a steal. I feel like a lot of his stuff right now, he's just trying to go through it all. So he's pretty much just selling it for a little bit above probably what he gets it for. Like this sweatshirt I bought for 75 bucks and it retails for like 225 bucks. I've almost paid like 180 for this thing. So for me, I love it. It does fit a little bit short in the body, which 
which I'm not too mad about just because it falls like a little bit below the waist and I don't, I don't really like stuff when it falls exactly at the waist a little bit below is really where the minimum of where I prefer it and honestly like this is exactly for mainline there's not any difference between this I don't even think it was a sample it's probably just overstock inventory that they had they're trying to just get rid of but I really like it it's end of season it's just about at summer it keeps going between hot and cold here in Southern California I'm honestly just waiting for the heat because of my job but personally I love wearing long sleeves and all that so I guess selfishly I want it to stay cold so I can keep wearing like this but the second thing I picked up was this Daniel Patrick t-shirt now you've probably seen me with a hoodie with the same exact font but honestly I love this design like this is gonna be perfect for me for summer I don't tend to just wear white all the time or color I like to just wear black it's what I love this black and red it really is nice like most Daniel Patrick stuff it has that like line down the middle overall like I picked this shirt up for 40 bucks which some people might be a lot for a t-shirt but it is made in Los Angeles it is made with really good cotton it does have like this the raw edge bottom on it which I find different but overall I really love it I haven't tried it on yet but honestly I haven't really gone wrong with any Daniel Patrick stuff in the past and I think most of his stuff really does fit oversized. But I, if you can, I would try stuff on yourself. I know he's in sacks now. Or you can buy it online. It's not that bad priced online. But yeah, so this is a quick Tuesday video. Just about my recent pickups. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And let me know if you guys copped anything yourself. And like I end every single video here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.